Welcome back. It is the first Tuesday of the month, which means that we have five new assets for free in the rotation on the Epic Marketplace. As always, you can find these in the Epic Launcher under the Free for the Month section. In this month's selection, we have the Ultimate Farming Asset. This is an asset that is consisting of around 40 different plants and fruits, which meshes for different life cycles, from sapling to mature to withering and also being harvested. This is done with different static meshes and represents the state of the plant and coloration of the materials. There is no blueprint system that makes use of this functionality, all of that will have to be created separately. The asset has so far received two out of three planned updates, so expect further features later in April for this one. Next up we have the renovation simulator. This is a blueprint asset that aims to give you the experience of cleaning up or renovating a level to accomplish goals and receive rewards like experience and money. The asset consists of 43 blueprints and allows you to perform tasks like picking up garbage, cleaning graffiti, painting walls, floors and ceilings, repairing fences and selling items. Next is the primitive characters pack. It is a fairly straightforward asset pack. This is a character asset consisting of five characters with some modular customization to the appearance as well as primitive weapons. The characters have slight facial morphs. It is made to represent the roles of a man, a woman, a child, as well as an elderly man and an elderly woman. Next, we have the modular medieval town with interior. This is a pack consisting of 151 meshes of an assortment of parts of buildings to allow you to create houses according to your needs. As well as the building parts, there is an assortment of miscellaneous objects for both interior and exterior decoration. In addition to the modular meshes, there are also included a few blueprints for things like lamps, fires and doors. Lastly, we have the DLC in Blueprints plugin. This is a plugin that aims to ease the handling of DLC or downloadable content, as well as microtransactions for your games, by providing easy functions in Blueprints to verify if certain DLCs are available on your account, as well as directing you to the store to purchase said account if not. The plugin works on both Steam and Epic Game Store. So let's get a closer look at these assets. First out we have the Ultimate Farming Pack and this is the showcase map that shows you all of the different plants and fruits that you have available to you in the pack itself and how this system is built up it is essentially a system made out of um, each of these different plants and fruits all have different static meshes that represent different stages in the evolution of the plant or fruit itself. So you have something that's a seedling and then something that grows over time. And uh, the three stages that were available in the beginning have in addition to that also been increased with a fourth harvested state uh, for, I'm not sure if it's for all of them, but for some of them at least. So uh, the plan here is that if you're going to be using this for a farming system you have these different skeletal meshes in different stages of the plant's life uh, so that it can sort of grow over time and you can also harvest them when your player interacts with them. So uh, if we go into the folder here for the meshes in the catalog we can see that for example we have uh, flax here. So we have flax D and we have flax D harvested. So we can see that uh, this is what our plant looks like when it is, uh, I think this is the one that is actually going uh, a little bit old and starting to uh, rot. Uh, but here you have a harvested version as well, so you can transition between the, diff to the two different ones if you want to have a player that um, sort of harvests the, the content of uh, the plant itself. Uh, and these are also organized, many of them, in an A, B, C kind of um, configuration. And I do believe that for the most cases, these are meant to be either variations or different stages in the lifetime of the plant or fruit. 
Um, <clears throat> in addition to that, uh, these plants also are affected by wind, and there is a interaction, and I'm doing bunny ears now, uh, quotation marks, for, for uh, the plants as well, where you can go into the master materials, according to the documentation, add a little bit of uh, parameters there, and that will allow your character to also bend the different plants if it's out walking among the fields. Um, so yeah, that's the ultimate farming pack. Next up we have the renovation simulator and this is a blueprint asset. Uh, the idea here is that this is supposed to be like one of those games where you go and restore or clean up uh, certain aspects of something and in this specific game or template or what to call it you have uh, in this case four different objectives you have a uh, garbage to clean up so we can go and pick up garbage and we get some progress over here on our objective and in addition to picking up garbage we also have a few different tools that are available to us to do the other things so for example if we go and press middle mouse button we get this wheel we can get this little scanner item and if we go up to a, a bench we can left click on it and that is uh, the equivalent of selling it which is uh, doing that part of the objective we can also go over here to the graffiti and we can go and say that we want to change to different tools we can change to the tool uh, that cleans we can remove the graffiti if we're close enough like so we get progress on that uh, in addition to that, we can also go up to this fence and we can use the hammer, which is the repair tool, and we can repair the fence. And yeah, this, this is in essence what this simulator does. In addition to this, however, you do have the ability to do things like uh, bring up your tablet and say you want to paint uh, floors, for example. You can say that you want to paint them with wood. So doing that, you can go around doing floor painting. Uh, you can uh, bring up your tablet to do some walls. You can do certain paint colors. You can go and paint something blue if you want to, or a different color altogether if you want to do that. Um, and you have some decor. You can do uh, roofs and, and such as well. Um, so it's it's uh, in essence a a prototype sort of um, cleaning simulator kind of game with a few different parts like timers and such. Um, looking at this project a little bit in detail, um, I was not super impressed. Um, this is done in blueprints, and the blueprints are not fantastic. They are serviceable. Uh, there are, however, instances of things I'm not super fond of, like uh, in this case we have these widget blueprints that are on take doing sequence things and then doing delays before they do logic. And uh, this is a big no-no to me. So, so there are instances of that which is not fantastic and I, I feel like the, the structure of the variables that are saved in a first person character could have been made into a component a little bit easier to uh, move to a different character because now if you want to make this make use of this in your own project you have to inherit from the first person character to have uh, those variables available to you just to show you it's it's variables over here and we have like variables that to go and keep track of how many you have done of fences and paints and stuff like that in total. It's it it's all very cumbersome to migrate to something that isn't following this exact uh, s structure essentially was is what I'm saying. Um, and the project is a little bit it looks like super busy. Uh, so I'm not sure how easy it would be to maintain a a project that was making use of this uh, when there's these cubes everywhere and such. I don't know. Uh, I'm a bit of two minds here. Uh, but anyway, that is the renovation simulator and my thoughts on it. 
Next up we have the primitive characters pack and this is the showcase map. So uh, here we get a little bit of an overview of what the different characters uh, that you can make use of in this project are. They are categorized as five different characters. Uh, so you can see them as these five here, I believe. Uh, and they have a few different modular pieces that you can exchange for different body parts to get different looks. So you have everything from uh, clothing to accessories to peg legs and things of that nature. Uh, in addition to that, you have a few very, very basic uh, animations so there's the jumping you have the walking the running uh, and that's essentially it uh, so here you can see a little bit more of what you have available to you how this is grouped is like i said uh, five different characters so if you go into the folder structure you can see that we have uh, the animations are available in for Unreal Engine 4 animations that are on uh, for that specific rig that they have provided over here and we have Unreal Engine 5 animations but there's only a few so yeah but not entirely sure why they did it this way maybe it was to make it easier for uh, people or something like that it should have been pretty easy anyway with the rigs and the retargeting but anyway that's beside the point um, so the different meshes that they have available are these five different primitive ones and if we were to go into one we can see that we have them categorized in Unreal Engine 4 and 5 and mesh weapons and inside of that we have either the full uh, meshes which are essentially uh, complete looks of a specific character or you can go into the separate parts where you could be using different uh, parts and then modularly put them together to get a specific look out of what you have available to you uh, for a specific character. So you have some modularity for the characters available to them so that they animate all independently of each other. Uh, so yeah, you have essentially five different primitive characters here with a few different variations in their looks of uh, customization. Next up we have the modular medieval town with interior. So if we go out and get a bird's eye view on this we can see the, the kind of things that you can create with it. So the demo level itself is fairly small and the variations that we're presented with are varied although not that many. And this medieval scene also comes with interiors like mentioned so you can go inside of them. And you can see that they have some very, very rudimentary Spartan kind of interior available as well. Uh, no furnishings at all, of course. So, yeah, that's essentially what you get in one of the, the demo maps. So if we go to the overview to get sort of a um, better look over what kind of modular pieces we are expecting to get, you can see that we have some... Small parts like barrels and wells and furniture and stuff like that, even though we didn't see it specifically in the house that we went into. And we have some beds and some wagons, and we also have some walls of different configurations and settings. Also some stone walls, and then we have some... Um, the word for this is escaping me right now, but scaffolding sort of... Um, uh, pieces as well and then we have some roofs we also have some interiors like uh, lamps or um, doors and pillars so you can see that there is a small but okay assortment of modular pieces and then you have examples also of what they can be created into so these are uh, full blueprints so that you can move them around as a whole and yeah so this is essentially what you can expect to be able to create with this with a little bit of imagination of course the last asset of this month is going to be the dlc in blueprints plugin so this is what it says on the tin it is a plugin that allows you to in blueprints make use of some functions that are added uh, 
to this. So uh, here we have the, the basic setup for setting up the plugin, depending on you, if you want to make use of uh, Steam or uh, Epic Games. But then it also comes into the part where it shows off some of the functionality that you have. So you will be having uh, some functionality that will be able to query against your game to see if you have certain DLC, so downloadable content available uh, in your install currently. And if you do not, it has the possibility of uh, directing you to a store page where you can get this. So this is made for uh, mainly for DLCs, but it can also for the Epic Game Store be made use for microtransactions. Uh, according to the documentation, uh, Steam does not allow for microtransactions, it says. Uh, that's probably because in, in uh, Steam, everything is considered a DLC, like you buy a skin, you, you essentially get a DLC for that game. Uh, so it's a matter of semantics, I believe, rather than anything else. Uh, so yeah, this plugin is for this kind of content. So if you want to make available uh, DLCs or money transaction kind of content for your game, uh, this might be an easy way for you to add functionality of that into your blueprints. That is going to be all for this time. Hopefully this was useful to you. Anyway, keep on learning. Take care. A big thank you to all of you who like, comment, subscribe and share my videos or through other means support this channel. You are what makes this channel grow and become a resource for other people to learn from.